Mm. Hello, welcome back to my channel, M Pharma Clinic Solutions. So today we shall be talking about the National Drug Policy and Authority Act, Chapter 206 of the Constitution of Uganda, which, which started in 1993. However, as I said earlier, the law is under revision in the Parliament. Of course, the Act establishes a National Drug Policy, which is clearly stated in the, in the Act, National Drug Authority to ensure the availability at all times of essential, efficacious, and cost-effective drugs to the entire population of Uganda as a means of providing satisfactory health care and safeguarding the appropriate use of drugs. So that's the, the Act what it says. Now, what are the body members of the Act? Of course, the chairperson, as you know him, the other members include the elect of medical services, uh, Commissioner General of Health Services, uh, Commissioner of Commissioner of Trade, Director CID, uh, Chief Medical Officer, Minister of Defense, Chief Pharmaceuticals and Health Supplies. I don't know if these are all still there because very many laws have been amended, but me, I'm just following the law. Director, Head of National Chemotherapeutic Lab, Director of Mulago, and representative of the NMS, JMS, PSU, uh, Uganda Veterinary Association, Uganda Herbalist, Head School Pharmacy, Makere. I think by then when they made the law in 1993, it was only Makere which was available. Uh, the JMS uh, AIDS Commission, Uganda Association, and two other persons which are appointed from the public. Uh, let's talk about the functions of the drug authority, which I've already mentioned somewhere, but let me repeat them. Of course, they deal with the registration and regulation of pharmacies in the country, approve the national list of essential drugs, and supervise the list revision of the list, estimate drug needs, I don't know if they do this, control the importation and exportation and sale of drugs, control the quality of drugs, Promote and control local production of essential meds, essential drugs. Control research, encourage research and development of herbal drugs. Now, the herbal medicine, this is where we come in as pharmacy professionals in this country, um, where we can work with NDA and we promote herbal products which are made by pharmacists. There are a few of them which are there on the market, but we can improve further. To promote rational use of drugs and to perform any other function and advise the minister as it may deem. Now, there are different committees in NDA. Uh, there is the, the, the Drug Commission, which is responsible for the day-to-day -day activities of the authority when the board is not sitting. They have the Control of Social Drugs and the Control of the National Formula. Now, uh, remember, we'll be talking about just parts of the Act. However, most of the Acts have been either stated in our previous discussions or you can refer in the original Act. Now, uh, no person shall mix about supply and dispensing of restricted drugs. No person shall mix, compound, prepare, supply, or dispense any restricted drugs unless that person is a registered pharmacist, a medical practitioner, a dentist, or a veterinary surgeon, or a licensed person. Uh, there are very many people, people who are practicing a profession, they are, not, they are not qualified, so they are breaking the law. That's why they always get them. And the supply of Class I, Class B is by licensed seller. Class C is by licensed person. Now, uh, all these ones have been stated in our previous discussions. One was uh, uh, registering a drug shop in Uganda. The other one was registering a pharmaceutical business in Uganda. The mixing, compounding, and preparing of drugs under shall be under the supervision of a what? Of a registered pharmacist. But in hospitals, it is uh, which is which is already licensed. Usually, uh, uh, we can use other professionals uh, to do the hospital staff can give a hand in the dispensing of medicines. Now, for licensed persons and licensed sellers, we refer to our previous discussions, starting from a pharmaceutical business and also starting a drug shop, and the, the act itself. And again, importation and exportation, all these ones have been talked about earlier on in our previous discussions. Uh, before we talk about the schedules of NDA, 
um, uh, schedule. The first schedule is all about gas A or narcotics. Schedule two or second schedule is the class B drugs or the controlled drugs that the antibiotics and prescription drug is found in this class. Anti DM, uh, uh, hypertension, any drug is found here. Now, of course, class C, these are licensed, uh, the, the, the class C licensed drugs, these are the, the class C, uh, the syrups and paracetamol and all others. Schedule 4 are the exempted drugs and articles. Uh, schedule 5, we have drugs as to which publication descriptive matter is, is restricted or prohibited, such as syphilis, gonorrhea, chancara, and uh, amenorrhea, arteriosclerosis, and all others. Now, these ones are in details within the law. The sixth schedule is all about the disposition of preparation of of manufacture by medical practitioners. Now, of course, this one, the medical practitioners can can supervise the can the preparation of extracts such as the pituitary, spirulin, thyroid, pancreas, and the stomach. I don't know if they do it. Uh, the preparations contain the active ingredients of any of the parasitic glands, and so they're responsible for this. Don't need the pharmacist specifically here. Now, the seventh schedule is all about requirements for storage of classified drugs, uh, which will be kept under lock and key. Of course, this one will not eat um, in a suitable cupboard away from other drugs. Uh, now, remember, this has been just a simplified version of the Act. So, I'm sure uh, if you have read this and read our previous presentations on starting a pharmaceutical business, if you go now in the Act, it is a bit easier for you to follow. So, thank you for listening to me and watching the presentation. These are other presentations that we have. Uh, uh, I remain Wilson. Uh, uh, subscribe to our trading solution which is M Pharma Trading Solution our channel support us leave a comment like our videos support us so thank you very much